the 12 elixir uh, challenge it was it was just a few days ago and i did the i did the free entry first and i flunked out i did really really bad i think i got out um like after on one account i got out after three losses and then on the other account i got out immediately after like one or two losses so i have a buddy who right now is working on his YouTube account and he wants to remain mysterious. So I'm not gonna say who he is. I gave him my account and I was like, hey, would you be interested to do it for me? And he was like, yeah, sure. And he seemed kind of excited because I think he, he doesn't gem. And just last week I got like $10, like I won 10 bucks in a raffle. So I got all these gems. And I thought it would be a good opportunity for him to practice because I know he's entered in these uh, in these contests and championships that are going around right now. So this was a perfect opportunity for him to practice. So as you can tell, he got 12 wins. He went twice. He tried twice. Uh, first time he he, he went uh, one and three. So he won one and he lost three. And then this one he went 12-0. I mean, this kid went 12-0, and these are all his matches. Now, you can see over here, these are the defeated ones, and, you know, which is okay. And, I, I mean, I have, like, plenty of gems, and it was 100 gems to enter. Uh, in my opinion, it was worth it to pay 100 gems to get 135k gold. Because to get 100k gold, you have to pay almost 5,000 gems. Almost 5,000 gems to get that. So to me, it was worth it. Like, I didn't mind. Um, I don't know. Like, one way or the other, like, what am I going to do with these gems, you know? So, but he didn't do it the second time. Uh, I kind of wanted him to go in again and see if he can win again. Um, I figured it would be a good opportunity for him to practice or something. But he was like, no, it's not worth it. So I was like, okay. I was like, it's up to you. Uh, right now, I think he's trying to do the uh, Grand Challenge. So when he does that, I will let you guys know. And I know he's in the works on his YouTube channel, so I'm gonna link it so you guys can check it out. So this is the chest. Uh, I was opening this chest up when I was at the Brooklyn Bridge Park. I was uh, hanging out at Brooklyn Bridge Park, and it was it was a nice day out, but the Elixir Challenge was like ending that day. So he texts me and he was like, "Yo, I did it. I went 12-0." Uh, so this is the chest uh, 16 giants not too bad 378 skeletons uh, And then we got five clones dude. I have never seen so many skeletons in the chest I mean look at that. Uh, we're gonna watch just two of his battles. I don't want to keep this video too long So this is the one where he played the P.E.K.K.A. now the P.E.K.K.A. is an unbelievably over level card when it comes to tournament level um, see tournament level it's like you know when you know you know when you see all those updates that people give of like wins and like buffs and nerfs that's when they are affected they're not really affected in multiplayer where people level them up and um, you know or gem or whatever so over here you see he's playing the P.E.K.K.A on the left side now I don't know if he knew that he was gonna start playing the right side already but knowing him, I know that that is his strategy. This is what he likes to do. He likes to play the left side, or at least defend the, le the, the one of the sides, at least the dominant side that the person plays, and then sweep in on the other side with uh, some attacks. So over here, this is a good opportunity for him to see what cards the other person has. Um, so we see that he has a minion horde. I uh, took down the balloon. Now the guy, Doc Jr., he's trying to chip away with the poison. Uh, chipping away with the poison is smart, but it's not really ideal when there's no cards. So right now, my buddy sees a good opportunity. He goes in with the balloon and the witch on the right side. So now we have split damage from the opponent. Uh, could be a little bit dangerous because it gives the other person to do whatever he wants. But because he's so adamant on playing on the right side, this actually works in favor of my friend here. So now, you see, he pushes the P.E.K.K.A. Now, this is where you really see him shine with his strategy. He pushes the P.E.K.K.A. on the left, and now he's sneaking in. Look how he places the Witch. He places the Witch just so he can get the uh, Minion Horde, 
and then the balloon just sweeps in. I mean, look at how that balloon just goes in. And it's gonna get a hit off the tower. So the tower is at 917. Uh, the left tower is 1118 uh, for the offense. So now you see, look at the strategy. He's pushing in the P.E.K.K.A. again. Now the wizard doesn't do anything. Now it's nine seconds left. Now this is a perfect opportunity to play uh, the balloon and something else on the right side. So now his opponent is at four elixir. Now look at how my uh, friend is playing. He has a full elixir bar, guys. Full elixir bar. So now he puts in some uh, fire spirits. He completely abandons the left side, uh, which which he has no choice but to do because he has to move everything on the right side but he still stays to his strategy he plays the uh the pekka on the left side he goes in on the right side knowing that this is what the tower he wants to get down he goes in with the balloon he pushes a uh a log that's 421 but the balloon doesn't hit but the bomb drops there uh that's just within the log and zap uh range now look at the musky he doesn't even waste elixir on that because the tower is just at such full health. So he puts in a, a Valkyrie to tank. Uh, there goes the balloon. There goes the log. And then the, uh, then the zap to finish it off. Perfect gameplay. This was perfect gameplay. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a big thumbs up. Subscribe for more Clash Royale videos. If my friend does another tournament, I will put it up again. And uh, I want to start shouting at his channel, but I'm going to check in with him if he got it up or not. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one.